No, but for real, older than average fool. What? OP is red, OP is red, turn around, turn around. Whatever you want, man. It's up to you. <laughs> I'm in my 30s, dude. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, so you're not that much older than average. I'm not old, fuck that. It, it, depend, it depends on what you're talking about, you know? <laughs> yeah. For elementary school students, for sure. For, uh, oh, yeah, right. definitely. For un ungraduated junior high schooler, yes. Right in the face. Oh, he got... Shit, I saw that. I got a little something. I got a little grenade for him, though. Oh, fuck off. I was just hit before I could do it. Woo! Gotcha, bitch. Oh, fuck. Somebody behind me. Well, happy Saturday, you guys. Thanks for coming back to the channel today. A little Hell Let Loose news. Uh, and this one's going to be uh, regarding uh, parity with PC and its console counterpart. And if you're not 100% sure what that means, uh, one of Hell Let Loose's biggest goals for this year was to get the console version of the game and the PC version of the game on a schedule where they're both being updated and having new content being put out for both at exactly the same time. And also so that the studio could work on both versions of the game simultaneously. Uh, while releasing that content makes things a lot easier uh, when you have a game that is on two different platforms like that um, to be able to release content make content make patches uh, you name it all together at the same time so that's what parody means it just means getting everything on the same page um, so a little bit of news came out uh, just yesterday from their discord page I'm gonna throw it right here we know that many console players are extremely keen for information and transparency around the anticipated update coming to Xbox Series XS and PlayStation 5. We currently have a separate team focused solely on achieving parity with PC between both the console and PC titles, specifically on the challenges around optimization to enable Stalingrad and Kursk to play smoothly on console architecture. This is something I was pretty aware of would be an issue for a little bit, but that's okay, they're, they're being transparent about it. Uh, although conversion of the content to console has come with its own set of hurdles, the team is making good progress, and we're edging closer to providing a release date for you. We feel that we're best to communicate a date only when we're sure of it, instead of taking a guess and then having to disappoint the community should we have to move it. I think that's also great that they're, they're being honest about that. That's 100% the right way to do this. Um, we should also point out that the other task of this focused parity team is to build out a broader workflow that will enable the development team to create all content in a state that is appropriate for all platforms. An issue we faced until this time is that content has been created for PC and then had to be later retrofitted to console. We recognize that it's critical that the content arrives in the best possible shape for all platforms for all further updates of HLL. And then finally here, they're just reiterating that Eastern Front content will come out first, um, and then their next step will be full parity with console and PC. I think part of that reason is because they they need to get Stalingrad and Curse uh, working and optimized and running smoothly for a console, which I, th I knew was going to be an issue already anyways. But the other thing, too, is it allows them some more time to work on the console version on the two hardest maps that they have to, to really to optimize for console. And uh, once they're able to get that those two things uh, optimized, uh, moving into full parity will, should be a relatively easy transition. I don't think this will take too long either. Um, this is just a guess, but... Um, I would be willing to bet this will be coming, at least the Eastern Front content will be coming definitely before summer, full parity probably by summer. Um, that's what I would hope for and that's kind of what I expect to be honest with you, just based on what they've been able to do and when they articulate uh, what they're doing to the community um, this way, typically things happen relatively quickly afterwards. Um, so good things to look forward to. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. hope this was informative a little bit. Um, hope you enjoyed the beginning a little bit. Uh, we had some fun with that. Uh, leave a like uh, here if you if you get a chance and you enjoyed the video. Maybe subscribe to the channel. It helps me tremendously. I do appreciate the heck of you guys stopping by. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you next time.